Hello everyone, how are you? It is Dr. Emily. I am the founder and CEO of EBFA Global, inventor of Naboso, podiatrist and human movement specialist. Today we are all about the plantigrade foot. Now you may be wondering, what is a plantigrade foot? This is a plantigrade foot. The human foot is a plantigrade foot, which is perfect for single leg balance, absorbing impact forces, and for transferring into a rigid lever for propulsion. So a human foot is very unique and optimized for bipedalism and gait. So there are four main features of a plantigrade foot that I'm going to focus on so that you can improve the way that you balance and walk. First feature of a plantigrade foot is that you are on your tripod. Now the foot tripod is underneath the first metatarsal head, the fifth metatarsal head, and the heel. So the first, fifth, and heel. Some people like to think about the tripod underneath the digits. So the first, fifth, and heel, totally fine if you want to think of it that way. Your second feature has to do with the digits themselves. So we want to have digits that are nice, wide, spread out, and straight. So straight digits play a really important role in how our toes contact the ground, or what is called purchase. So when you think about purchase, you want the toes on the ground. Some people that start to get hammer toes, the toes will actually lift off of the ground. If you can see my toes are lifting. What that does is that throws off my balance and stabilization. So toe purchase and contacting the ground is really how we can generate power when we walk, but also maintain dynamic stability. So toe purchase, toe flexor strength, super important, in addition to staying balanced on that foot tripod. Some people will call it a quadrupod, which means they're referencing the digit as well. That really would be blending toe purchase with tripod, which is totally fine. You can call it a tri tri quadrupod if you would like. Now, your third feature has to do with these beautiful arches. So we want to have a medial arch and a longitudinal arch. Now, the balance of our medial and lateral arches has to do partly with our intrinsic foot muscles, so the muscles in the bottom of the feet when they engage. Let's say if you're doing short foot exercise, they engage and they lift that arch, but it's also going to be through posterior tibialis, which inserts on that medial side, peroneus longus, which attaches down here, crosses the bottom of the foot, and then wraps around the lateral side of the leg. So it's a balance of medial and lateral lateral to lift those arches. Now a cool fact is that the highest bone of the medial arch is your navicular and that's what your posterior tibialis attaches to. The lateral arch, the highest point is going to be your cube runs underneath that cuboid is your peroneus longus. So you got your post tib and your peroneus longus together are strengthening the medial and the lateral longitudinal arches. Now, your fourth and final feature of a awesome plantigrade foot is going to be your transverse arch. Now, the transverse arch is actually formed by the declination of your metatarsals. What makes your metatarsals strong is your intrinsic muscles and your plantar fascia. So your plantar fascia and those intrinsic muscles actually lift you off of the ball of your foot. So the metatarsal heads, yes, they are weight-bearing bones, but they are not passive weight-bearing bones. We want to have tension, fascial tension in our foot that keeps us engaged and lifted against gravity. When people become subjected to gravity, they actually get heavier in their feet. So the more that you can connect to the fascial tension of your plantar fascia, your intrinsic muscles, and how it connects to the deep core, you will actually be lighter in your feet. So again, your four features of a plantigrade foot is foot tripod, toe purchase, strong digits, toe flexor strength, medial lateral arches, through your posterior tibialis and your pronius longus, and then finally the transverse arch, which comes from your intrinsic muscles and your plantar fascia. 
can you guess the best exercise to strengthen a plantigrade foot? If you guessed short foot, you are correct. To learn more about how to keep an awesomely strong functional foot, head to ebfaglobal.com. And then make sure you also check out the Naboso mat to bring in that sensory stimulation at the same time. Naboso.com. Thank you all so much. And remember, stay barefoot strong.